Purchase your exclusive Fortnite skins with the link in the description down below, even including the brand new Honor Guard skin bundle for as little as $64.99. Use Monkey at checkout for 5% off. Yo guys, Monkey here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and improve your internet speed, your internet connection on your PlayStation 4. Now, I did a video on this like eight months ago, and the video itself, I can honestly say, guys, the commentary in that video was just terrible. I got a lot of complaints about it. Um, the video itself did all right, view-wise, um, but I'm doing an up-to-date version of this, guys, with a better commentary for you guys to actually watch, and maybe you will enjoy it this time. And I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the point of actually starting this video. So one of the main factors you guys should take into consideration is whether you are connected via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Connecting your PlayStation to Ethernet um, is gonna be a lot stronger signal, you're gonna get better speeds, but I know that some of you guys cannot actually make this happen. So most of you people watching this are connected via Wi-Fi. But if you can try and get your PlayStation connected via an Ethernet cable, then do that guys, you will get a stronger signal straight away but what we're going to go ahead and do guys is go into settings and we're going to go into network and just run a speed test currently with what we've got at the moment just to set like a base speed to see if we can actually improve that so i have fast internet as it is uh, i'm not complaining about my internet it's 228 down 9.8 up so me trying to actually do this to even up it and get better speeds it's probably not going to have that much of an effect on me than it will have on you so guys there's going to be a link in the description down below to a website that's full of dns servers and um, which you guys can actually go ahead and check out we're going to be testing two in today's video uh, which i think work best for me i'm from the uk guys so these probably work best for me because i'm in the uk but just check and try every single one that's on this website and as well guys when you do do this let me know in the comment section down below which DNS server you did use and where you are from so that other people from your actual specific location can try them DNS servers for themselves and see if they can actually improve their own speeds. So what we're going to do now guys is going to set up an internet connection. We're going to use a LAN or Wi-Fi. If you're connected through Wi-Fi, just click use Wi-Fi. I'm connected via LAN cable so I'm going to click LAN cable. And then I'm going to go ahead and click onto custom. It will ask you for your IP address settings, just keep that as automatic. DHCP, click do not specify, and where it says DNS settings, you want to click manual. Now for the primary DNS, what I'm going to do is this one, it's 208.67.222.222. And then for the secondary one guys, I'm just going to go and do 208.67.222. Two two oh Then you want to click next, then automatic, do not use, and you want to test your internet connection again. Now mine has actually increased um, a little bit. I've got at least one megabit per second upload speed, and I've got I think 20 more megabits per second download speed. So you'll see the changes in the bottom of the screen, guys. But the first one has changed it a little bit, then speeds are actually going to improve a little bit towards my download and actual playing games in the future. We're going to try one more DNS server guys and this is the Google DNS server um, and see if this one makes any difference to my speed compared to the first one. So we're just going to do the same again guys, set up internet connection, Even if you're on Wi-Fi click Wi-Fi, if you're on LAN click LAN, go into custom, click automatic. Click do not specify, then for DNS settings, we're going to click onto manual and you're going to go ahead and input this one. So the Google one is 8.8.8.8 .8 and then the secondary DNS is 8.8.4.4. Then you click next, automatic, do not use, and then we're going to test our internet connection and see if it's made a difference or if it's lowered it down compared to the first DNS. So the Google one literally made mine a lot worse. It's gone under 200 megabits per second. So the first one, which I believe is the Open DNS server, uh, I will be obviously using. 
but you go check all the DNSs on the website and link in the description down below guys. Let me know which one works best for you and what location you are at. But that is it for today's video guys. If you did enjoy it and you want more videos like this, please give it a big fat thumbs up. If you are new, make sure you do subscribe and enable post notifications. I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace out.